Have you ever had someone say to you when you did so well at selling something, man, you are just so lucky, you get all the breaks. In this video, I'm going to share with you how luck has nothing to do with being great at selling. Hi, Yvonne Hiltz here. I'm a sales strategist, trainer and coach, and I'm passionate about helping people put the heart of sales into everything. And on this video, I want to share with you why I get so miffed when I hear people discredit themselves or they discredit the great work of a great salesperson by saying, oh, either I was unlucky or they just got lucky. Because you know what? I think it's hogwash. I remember when I was working in a great call center a couple of years ago, and I'd really see the difference between those who saw themselves as unlucky and the patterns of behaviors that they would do versus those who really weren't interested in whether it was luck or not luck and actually just got on with it. And the fastest way to shift from feeling unlucky is to take more action. And interesting, the more action you take, the more work you generate. And there's something very fulfilling when you are taking a lot of action because you know that the more action you take, the more results you're going to get. Let's face it, you know, if you're sitting in a, in a, at home alone, perhaps you're, you know, you're sitting at home, you're working from home, and if you're not taking a lot of action, there's this heaviness that can start to sit in that's very hard to shift until you make a clear-cut decision to start to take massive action. And maybe you're in a corporate environment or in a sales team environment, and, you know, you're just seeing that everyone around you is buzzing and it's got this X factor about them. Well, unless you start to step into that same vibe or energy or essence, and move out of the funk that you're in, yeah, sure, everyone might appear to be lucky. But really, it's not about luck. It's about what you're putting in. And what I know, it's human nature. There's something about when you produce lots of great results, you feel better. It's almost like you get an endorphin rush. So if you're the person who's sitting and watching everyone and going, yeah, well, they're lucky and I'm not lucky, or let's say you're in a call center, you go, yeah, they've got a better list or better database to work from than me, or maybe you're in retail and you're seeing that somebody's getting more opportunities to have conversations or clothes, etc. You've got to take ownership and go, hang on, how am I creating this? What actions am I taking or not taking that are actually going to make a huge difference to the results that I put in? Start to see every opportunity as the opportunity to make that sale and close, rather than just going, oh, it's just another person on the call, they don't really want to buy from me today. Which, you know, I get with call centers, it can be very monotonous and a lot of Groundhog Day, but for top performers, they're not seeing it as Groundhog Day as, oh, here we go, another call coming through, or I just have to hit my stats. They're seeing that this is the call that I'm going to make a sale on, and their stats are higher, and it's not because they've got better lists. They've nurtured that and collated that information off that client to then generate a sale. And retailers, I find are the same. You know, I know when I go into a store, if this person behind the store is just flat and lifeless, like there's a dead energy in the store. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend my money in a dead store. You know, even you know if the person behind there is just kind of flat and lethargic, blah blah blah. I'm like, honey bee, I don't even need to be in here to make the sale. I can be tippy tapping on my laptop or my iPhone, and I can purchase this. So, you know, when I hear people say, oh, they're better at sales and they just got lucky, I always go, no, 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 look at your own actions. So what I really invite you today is if you're a manager looking at your sales team, start to look at who's saying that language. Who are you noticing saying that, oh, they're unlucky or they're lucky? And then start to look at their behavior. Are they actually doing enough? Guarantee they're not. They're not taking enough risk, not taking enough action, maybe not doing enough calls, not having enough conversations. They're just pushing product too much. Um, if you're in a retailer, again, look around who's having those conversations, who's dragging down into victim mentality and going, oh, it's not my lucky day. Well, you know what? You've got the same day as everyone else. It's your, it's your responsibility to turn it around. So, you know, the magic formula for being lucky in sales, well, it's not actually a magic formula. It's a, for, it's a formula of the more you put in, the more you're going to get out. So if you're going to put in more positive uh, thinking, more positive language, uh, pick up the phone more, phone more prospects, looking for opportunities. There are opportunities everywhere that you're going. You're actually going to produce better results. Then the person who's sitting there waiting for it all to come to them, it's like, well, rather than just sit there dilly-dallying around and waiting, get on the phone and make a call. You know, pick up um, you know, a customer that you haven't spoken to for a while and go, you know, start connecting with them. But just remember, the more you put in, the more you get out. And it's got nothing to do with luck. It's about you taking massive action.